All the fears were unfounded. The supporters of India and Pakistan filled Old Trafford to capacity and created a wonderful atmosphere for today's potentially explosive Super 6 confrontation. Wazim Akram out to get Pakistan back to winning ways after two defeats. And there was Sachin Tendulkar out to inspire the victory that was essential to India's hopes of surviving. Good evening. This match between two of sports' greatest rivals offered so much, aside from all the concerns of safety and security. Thankfully, it was the cricket that made all the headlines, and it's the cricket that gives Barry Richards all the talking points for tonight's programme. Now, the Super 6 table coming into today, Zimbabwe and New Zealand having taken a point apiece from that rain-affected match at Headingley. Pakistan, after that defeat by South Africa, still have work to do to secure their semi-final place. But for India, who carried no points into the Super 6, a win today was essential to keep their semi-final hopes alive, and even then, their only distant hopes. Now, India had to make do without Ganguly. He failed a fitness test on his injured knee, and so Ramesh returns to the side and would open the innings. All-rounder Robin Singh retained his place following his half-century against Australia. Pakistan made two changes. Johanna aggravated his hamstring injury at Trent Bridge on Saturday. He was replaced by Salim Malik. The teenager Shahid Afridi returns in place of Washti and would open. India's Mohammed Azruddin won the toss and chose to bat on an old Trafford ground that had been flooded barely 24 hours earlier. The ground staff had worked through the night. Conditions were near perfect. Our commentators Colin Croft, Sanjay Mandraker, Mark Pugash, Imran Khan and Ravi Shastri. Third ball of the morning, Wazim to Tendulkar. And Tendulkar is off the mark here. First runs on the board for the Indians. With those couple of runs, Tendulkar has reached a thousand runs in World Cup cricket. Only the third player to do that after Javed Miyadad and Vivian Richards. Wanting the single sent back, he'll have to hurry. And a direct hit might have had him in trouble. He'll get a single nevertheless. Lot of tension showing there. Poor running by Sachin, almost ran himself out. He ran very quickly. And Sayyid Anwar. Poor collection by Moin Khan, who's playing with a broken finger. Shoei Bakhtar. He goes for the pull and gets it away. Oh, this is a tremendous shot. He's not quite timed it, but uh, someone of Shoei Bakhtar's place to be hit just wide of mid-on shows you how quickly the batsman has picked up that length. So round the wicket here, Shoei Bakhtar. And nicely played by Ramesh. That ball's travelling. That raced away to the backward point fence. That's put away by Ramesh. Got nicely on top of it and hit it in front of square. A good mix of uh, Pakistani and Indian supporters. Even enjoying themselves. Wazim Akram shouts at that, and that could very, very much be close because that looks as if it was just pitched, perhaps leg stump, outside leg stump. Very good ball. Well, beaten definitely on this occasion was Sachin, but the ball may have just pitched only inches outside the leg stump, not too much. Like a round of wicket to Ramesh. And he's bowled him. What a good ball. I think that kept a little bit low. Playing around it, maybe aiming to mid wicket a little bit. 
Razak has struck. He has been a brilliant medium pacer for Pakistan. It's 37 for one. And Pakistan have gotten their first breakthrough. You'll see here he's deceptively quick in the air. It's the angle that does Ramesh. He's not sound in defense. Ramesh tends to play casually over balls for an opener. And on this occasion, paying the penalty, playing all over that full-length delivery from uh, Razak. It's an important wicket for the Pakistanis. Ramesh gone for 20, 37 for 1. The new batsman is Rahul Dravid. But pitched up here, passing between bat and pad, the middle and leg stump disturbed. Razak to Dravid. Plays that nicely through square leg. On the front foot, and that's the pleasant thing about it. This is going to be four. Very, very well played. On the front foot, perhaps the ball coming into uh, the leg stump. And onto the front foot. Razak would not be pleased about that. Azar Mahmoud. Very well played there by Sachin Tindorka. He's going to be looking here for three, if not four. They just squeeze it into the whitish fine leg boundary for four. Beautiful shot by Sachin Tildorkar. This is going to go wide if the man at fine leg. Again, badly directed here by Razak. Just about leg stump, maybe just outside leg stump. Sachin Tildorkar really relishes this kind of bowling. Coming in to the pads. It's 51 for one. That four brought up the 50 in the 14th over, but that was a very well played shot. Look at this. The ball actually comes into a pad. He just flicks it around, and he knows where the man is at fine leg. Just wide of him, it's four. Razak to Sachin Tindorkar, and he's pulled that away. I mean, that was with disdain. He hit that as if the bowler was not even there. That was a shot, I think, of authority. One he's suggesting is going to... Oh, he's going to show Pakistan this morning. He's come out to do business. Hazar Mahmood, Tindorkar. That's a wonderful shot. The middle of the bat and the man at mid on just could look around to his left and escort the ball to the boundary. That's absolutely perfect on drive. Timing and placement. 100% strike rate against Azar Mahmood as he prepares to bowl again to Tendulkar. Again, Tendulkar not timing this well. Might just get two. There could be a little bit of a mix up here. And eventually settles for one. Saeed Anwar in the walls after fielding that ball. And this is how he did it. You can see there. Just losing balance, twisting that left ankle. We already have one Indian player not playing this game because of a strained ankle, Saurav Ganguly. Sack lane to Dravid. Mid on and mid off are up, inviting the shot over the top. And there it is. And something for Sack lane and Wazim to think about. As a Mahmoud to Dravid. And he's going to pick up four more. And that's going to do nothing for Wazim's mood. Tendulka on strike now. Here's Azar Mahmoud to Tendulka. Down the pitch. In the air. Out! Saklane Mushtak takes the catch. And Pakistan have their prized wicket. Tendulka is furious with himself. That's ignited the Pakistan support at Old Trafford. Well, I think what's done Tendulka here is he doesn't know the man has gone back. He's dropped back from mid off to long off just for that delivery, and he's picked out Saklain Mustak. He will be 
very disappointed because he's done all the hard work. He had his eyes on a big score and he's thrown his wicket away here. He's gone for 45, India 95 for two. The new batsman is AJ Jadeja. Two. Sam Malik is the fielder out on the deep cover boundary. And after 23 overs, India brought up the 100. 100 for two. Oh, that's gone straight through Wazim. It's going to cost his side at least one run, maybe two. That's well run by Jadeja. Well, he can't get frustrated with anybody else apart from himself on this occasion, Wazim Akram. Mabu to Jadeja. Well, very well caught indeed at slip. Inzamam is the catcher. And Jadeja surprised by the amount of bounce there. Inzamam is in the wars after catching that. I don't know whether he's dislocated a finger or maybe split the webbing, but he's held on to a fine catch, and India have lost their third wicket at 107. Well, what an effort by the big man. This is a good delivery. It's bounced on Jadeja, opened him up. And look at the big man there, goes flying across to his right, comes up with the ball in his hand. That's a good catch, and that's the value of having a slip for a new man. It's paid off. I think he's gone to see the physio here in Zimam. Tadeja gone for six, India have lost their third wicket, 107 for three. The Indian captain comes in to replace AJ Tadeja. Well, there are plenty of comments made about Inzamam and his fielding, Ravi. This was a fine effort. Very fine effort because the ball was dying down on him. Kept his eyes on it. In fact, caught it with two hands. He's injured himself in the bargain. And that's dropped. It's actually dropped. A very difficult chance for Ijaz Ahmed. He's at the whitish gully. That was hit really, really hard. Ijaz Ahmed is going to be a little bit disappointed that he's already injured even before the ball is, is hit towards him. Rahul Dravid hits this hard. Well, that was a straightforward catch, really. It's, it's really how Pakistan have fielded today. It's been very poor fielding. It was hit hard, but actually for a fielder of Ijaz's caliber, who's one of the best fielders in the team, he should really have caught that. Well, that's the first four of this partnership, and a fortunate one for Rahul Dravid. Shoab is frustrated. Now, the breeze isn't going to help his drift from the Warwick Road end, is it, Sanjay? As Dravid reaches his 50. 50 not out for Rahul Dravid. Off 70 balls. His fifth score of 50 or more in seven matches in this World Cup. Show it back into the attack. He's bowling to Rahul Dravid. One slip in. Sorts of things happening there. Just for a second, Dravid was fearful that he was going to play on. Then he thought about trying to steal a single. Well, when he played the shot, he would have expected the ball to go further than that. It's just about a foot away from the wickets.
the 150 up for India. Azim to Dravid. It's only going to be one. That brings up the 50 partnership. It's come off 89 balls. In the air and out. Well caught indeed by Shahid Afridi. And what a blow that is because Rahul Dravid has really been the cornerstone of this Indian innings. But just as he tries to accelerate, he falls to Wazim Akram. And India are 158 for four in the 40th. Well, this was on the cards. The pressure was beginning to build on Rahul Dravid because his captain wasn't really scoring freely enough. And you can see this Rahul Dravid is not a natural player of the lofted shot. Just chancing his arm on that occasion. He had no choice, really. And it's again a crumb back in the attack and picking up a wicket. Seeing that happen so often. Rahul Dravid gone for 61 and 158 for four are the Indians now. Here's the new batsman, Robin Singh. Now here is the first sign of real aggression. Just for a second, he must have thought that he was going to be caught. But Shahid Afridi couldn't quite bring off his second excellent catch in as many overs. Well, the wind doing the trick here, it was hit against the wind. Shahid Afridi thought it was coming to him quite safely. In the end, falling a yard short of him. Be looking for two. And they'll come back for it easily enough. 41 overs bowled in. You won 69 for four. That's four overs, just nine runs for the Indians. Certainly not what they want in the last 10 overs. Very good effort by the Pakistanis in the field. Now Robin Singh decides he's going to change that. That's six. From the time that came off of the bat, that was sailing over mid-wicket for six. That's the first six of this innings. And more particularly, it might just have given India a little bit of an impetus for these last five or so overs. Tremendous stroke, this. Well, Robin Singh, very hard hitter of spin bowling. And here he connects the ball with the wind. And I think that's gone out of the ground very high up. Huge six. Bakhtar coming in now to Mohamed Azharadin. Full toss, just short of the fieldsman. But again, a brilliant stop. Uh, there could be two here. There is two. What a hustle. At one stage, India were looking for 300 almost, and now would be lucky to get around 220. Again, the swipe was attended, attempted. Azar struggling. Robinson wanting the strike. A lot of pressure on Azar. He knows he's got to get runs. And here we see, oh, that was a stumping chance. Azar missing it completely and Moin Khan struggling. Moin Khan playing with a broken finger. Not easy to keep wickets with a broken finger. That was an easy stumping chance. But this time, he really gets hold of it, Azar. And it's hit straight over a long on. That's gone straight into the crowds. Predominantly Indian crowd in that area. Sakin Mushta just pitching the ball up a little bit. And no signs signify the, the result. Well, Azar really lined him up and hit him. Straight over mid on. He's a very good player of spin bowling, and if he was in form, I suspect that Saklan would have really been guarded all over the field. Now 43 not out. Saklan Mushtaq coming in. To captain, he tries again to get him to backwards. Square leg. 
It's 200 up now. It's the end of over number 47. Back turn now. That was hit airborne, but very well hit because it's going to get four. That ball is going to just trickle into the boundary. Very, very well hit by Mohamed Azardin. I think he was aiming perhaps through mid on, long on, and went over mid wicket. The result is positive. Four. Back turn now. Gathering himself up from his spread for them. Balls to Azardin. He drives. Do wonderful shot. That's going to be four. That's his 50. What a way to bring up your 50. That's probably the best shot he's played in this entire innings. Mohamed Azardin's first 50 of this World Cup, and he would be very pleased with this effort. The Indian supporters are. Mother Makram coming in for the penultimate of an out of Mohamed Azardin. He smacks that through to cover region. They're going to run for two here. Said Anwar just getting his hand to it. Perhaps save two. This was hit hard, so it might just have gotten for four. This is a nice shot again by Azard, and he might just get... Now he just gets two here. Again, just a bit leg stump from Wazim inside out. Hazard just gets two. Macram now into Indian captain again. He drives this time. It's very much airborne, and the man at backward point takes a very, very easy catch straight into his lap. Jez Ahmed. India have lost. Their fifth wicket is 218 for five. Here's Basim bowling the away swinger. Azar hits it hard, but straight to Ijazam at that point. Unlucky for Azar and a good breakthrough for Pakistan because Azar was going in full flow right now, and Pakistan would like a new batsman to come in. to Robin Singh. He runs this one very quickly. And they might just get two. Abdul Razak looks a little bit wounded. Very heavy outfield. It's, it was underwater yesterday, so they're all struggling with the... Either they're slipping, straining. And there's Razak. He's a key player for Pakistan. Tenth over, no wicket for 50. Sure, Bakhtar. Naimangi is going to be running for two here. He just gets very one. poor fielding by Salim Malik. Tried a one handed pick up and has given two runs. Shoaib and Wasim will be very unhappy with that. 227 for five, India. Shoaib Akhtar running in for the last delivery of this innings to Robin Singh. Robin Singh tries to pull away. It's going to be airborne. It could just be caught here. They're running. The captain takes the catch. Wazim Akram and India finish at 227 for six from their 50 overs. Robin Singh, the last man out, caught Akram, bowled Akhtar for 60. Attempted Yorker, made into a full toss, hit high. A skyer, which was seen, runs from wide of mid-off and takes a relatively simple catch. Well judged.
So the Indian batting, 95 for one at one point. The eventual total of 227 for six was disappointing. Top contributions from Dravid and Azaruddin after Tendulkar got them off to a good start. But would 227 be enough? Wazim led by example in the field, the pick of the Pakistani bowlers with two for 27 off 10. Shoaib and Saklan were expensive, but in all, Pakistan's bowlers seem to have kept the Indian innings in check. So the target for Pakistan, 228. That was the target for victory and a place in the semi-finals. We join their innings at the start. So here's the first ball of the Pakistani reply. Shrinat bowling to Saeed Anwar. And immediately Pakistan are away with a boundary. Devashish Mahanti is going to open the bowling from the Stretford end. It was right in the slot for him. It was wide and a half folly. Grandma helped himself. In the air and just wide of the man at square leg. It's going to be four more for Anwar. And Srinath to Afridi. Well, they say if you're going to flash, flash hard. No chance at all. For the captain, a second slip. He's starting to rattling along at the start of their innings. That's in the air, and that is out. And they have the wickets that they so desperately wanted. Kumble is the catcher. Afridi has gone, 19 for one in the third over. That's the boost that India needed. Did they? And Afridi was living dangerously. Here again, trying to hit this off the back foot. The ball bouncing on him a little extra. And this time, in Kumble's reach. It's just what the Indians wanted. They've got an early wicket, that of Afridi. Can be a dangerous player, 19 for one. Jaz Ahmed is the new batsman. There's Srinath to Ijaz. And Ijaz is away straight away. And he's going to pick up a boundary. Oh, Pakistan are being very, very positive. That's another lovely stroke. May well not be four. Dorka leads the fielder. And they come back for three. Ijaz on strike to face Mahanti for the first time. And past Steve Buckner's being asked the question. Well, when you see Steve Buckner in that fashion, you always get the feeling, even as a commentator, that something's going to happen. As you've seen him even in the past raise his finger a little late, but uh, good decision here. Yeah, this would have gone down. As a bowler, you continue appealing because you never know when that arm might go up. Oh, again, Anwar so quickly into position. He picked up the length of that straight away. He hasn't played that well so far during this World Cup, but he looks in good form this afternoon, side Anwar. Anwar attempting to go over the top, a thick outside edge. He's going to fall between two fielders. Well, I don't think Mahanti will be unhappy to see Anwar playing like that. Well, there's Mahanti, 
The batsman is Ejaz. Now airborne and dropped. And badly dropped there by Ramesh at mid on. Should have been taken. A couple of pats in the back, but that would not be acceptable by the Indian team. Yes, it is a very simple catch. Very difficult to keep a school at this time. Ijaz tries to hit it down the wicket. Tries to get a lot of power behind it, mistimes it, and maybe that could be the only reason that Ramesh could have dropped that one. Didn't come onto him as quickly as he expected. Agony. Now there's another loud shout here from Mahanti. Hyatt David Shepard unmoved, as except to tell them that the ball is sliding down the leg. But Mahanti again, in the noise, he's making every effort here to get a second wicket for India. This is a drop catch. Ramesh should have taken that. And I tell you, Mahanti is agonized. Well, after that dropped catch, this was the next one. Leg before appeal, so close to being out here, just missing the leg stump. And missing the leg stump only by centimeters, I can assure you. Javigal Srinath bowling these maybe leg cutters, but he has the ability to cut the ball back into the right-handed batsman. And he's caught! Beautiful delivery. Just as we were saying that he could get the ball to cut away a little bit, Javigal Srinath allows Ijaz to get an edge as our Indian captain at second slip snaps it up. Pakistan lose their second wicket. It's 44 for two. India has played some brilliant cricket in the last two overs. Devashish Mahanti gave a torrid time to Ijaz Ahmed, but this is the man who gets the reward. But good bowling as well by Javagal Shreena. Short of length, just cutting away from Ijaz. Well, the last couple of overs were absolute misery for Ijaz. He ultimately departs on the score of 11. It's two wickets down for 44. The new batsman is Salim Malik with a number three on his back. 17 balls and 13 minutes since the last run was scored from the bat. again to Salim Malik just in front of Hazard that dropped Hazard normally catches everything that comes to, to hand but that one was just short bunks maybe a foot or two in front of him exceptional slip fielder is the Indian captain and especially when it comes to low catches like these if he hasn't taken it the reason it the reason is that the ball has pitched in front of him, then carry took the edge in the lower part of the bat. So there was hardly any bounds for it to carry all the way, and in the end, quite safe. Rikatesh Fasad coming in to Salim Malik from the stretch for them. Drive, drives well away from the body, but he's probably going to get two, he's probably going to get three here. It's four, that's very well timed. I think Salem Malik played away from his body then. And once it gets to the boundary, the end justifies the means. Thank you, Tesh said again to Salem Malik. This is going to be very close. And Bayer Buckner eventually gives him out LBW. That has been a very long, painful decision. That took a long time, but India have gotten their third wicket. Salim Malik is out. LBW to Prasad for six. And it's 52 for three. This is some very good spell of seam bowling by the Indians, Mohanty, Srinath and now Prasad getting into the act. Good example of what to do when the ball is fairly hard on a helpful wicket. Keep it right up, get it to move off the seam and on that occasion came in to Malik. 
got him plumb in front, had to wait a long time for the decision. It's gone for six, and it's 52 for three. The new batsman is going to be Inzamam Ulhak. Hits the ball well, but always seemed to feature somewhere in runouts. Big man, but does not move very quickly. Mahanti to Inzamam. Ah, this is going to be quick. Said Anwar, I think, this time he's going to run and be safe. Inzimam reacts and gets there eventually. Mohanty into Said Anwar, he chips this over mid on. It goes right down to long on, and that's four, just two bounces before it gets over the rope. Mohanty, the ball coming into the left hand, and therefore it is something of a free hit. Said Anwar continues his onslaught. Mohanty into him, and that's played away from the body, but that could even be four just through the extra cover region. Jadeja tried, couldn't get there, and once it hit the grass, that actually accelerated. The Pakistanis celebrate. And uh, there are two fours in succession now for Anwar. Out. Well, just for a second, it seemed as if Azza Rudin might have spilt it. Said Anwar has gone. And look at the huddle, Ravi Shastri. India really believe they can win this match. Well, this is a brilliant catch by the Indian captain. He was standing wide at first slip. Uh, those edges really come thick and fast. Now watch his reaction here. Good delivery by Prasad, slanting it across the right-hander. Big upon left-hander Anwar and Mohammad Azruddin making no mistake. Said Anwar really not getting his foot out there to the pitch of the ball, but it doesn't matter. This is a huge blow for Pakistan. Indians will be delighted. 65 for four. New batsman is Azhar Mahmood, the 24-year-old. Prasad to Mahmood. Well, that's beaten the fielder at cover point. That'll be four. A very firmly hit squared drive off the back foot. Azhar Mahmood, a very fine upcoming cricketer for Pakistan. There's Bobby Simpson, now one of the coaches to India, who of course steered Australia to World Cup triumph in 1987, and to the runners-up spot last time. And that's out! What a very well-taken catch from Nayan Mongia. Azhar Mahmood is out. And it's 78 for five now in the 25th over. Pakistan have real problems. Well, this is the danger of getting yourself stuck where they weren't scoring any runs and something out of the ordinary happened. The ball bounced a little bit more than expected from uh, Kumle. And uh, a very good catch taken by Mongia. 78 for five. Is Pakistan's lower order talisman. Sonil Kumble here will continue. Three overs, just six runs before this. And firmly struck by Moyen. One bounce over the rope. That's the first boundary for seven overs. Moen Khanet already had 200 runs for this World Cup, an average of 50. Look at that strike rate, 116.2. Once again, he'll look for two. He'll get it. Good placement. So Robinson continuing here. He's taken the aerial route. He's gone miles up in the air. He comes back for three. So 
So the 100 coming up for Pakistan with that hit from Moin Khan. And he nearly chopped it on. That's beaten Mongya. And that's up in the air. And that's over the boundary as well. That sails into the crowd. That's a Moin Khan special. Well, Mohan Khan has decided that enough is enough. This is a slog sweep. It goes high and hard over mid-wicket. It goes into the crowd even. Those kinds of shots are what Pakistan needed this time. Inzamam says, yes, let's go from here. Not to wait for the Empire signal. This will reach the boundary. Signal from the Empire, so Mohan Khan getting some bat on it. Kumble actually spears this down the leg side, just a fine inside edge, very good umpiring. Umpire David Shepard had this in the sights immediately, and it just took the edge and the pace, took it down to fine leg. That's probably that's the reason why it went quickly to the fence. Mohan Khan having a good look round the field. There's a deep square leg and a long on. And here he is facing Prasad. In the air, could be caught, is caught. Sachin Tendulkar celebrates. And Mohan Khan, who has caused so many teams so many problems in this World Cup, has gone. And India really are in the ascendancy. Pakistan 124 for six in the 35th. Well, the Indians know how important this wicket is. He really was the danger man at this stage. Short ball, attempted maybe a slow delivery. And this is really what he didn't want. In the end, just pull the ball down towards that fielder. Sachin Tendulkar, very simple catch to him. Made absolutely sure that he had everything behind that ball. The danger man is gone this time, not really making much of an impact for 33. It's 124 for six. Prasad to Razak. Oh, that's gone a long way. That's going to be six. Oh, it's a fantastic pickup shot from Abdul Razak. Well, we've been mentioning that he can bat. He's now he's hurt himself in the process. I think he may have pulled a muscle. Has he pulled his right hamstring? There was a bit of Moin Khan in that shot. This is really a shot that you'll see more and more batsmen starting to play. Especially again against good bowlers with a bit of pace and dropped by the person in the red three rows back And Moen Khan is going to come out and run for Abdul Razak Singh into Inzamam And Moen Khan is looking for a second Inzamam's gonna have to hurry Uh, it was well run in the end. But just for a second, it seemed as if Enzimar might be struggling. Srinath to Razak. He's pulled him. And immediately the change of bowler reaps dividends for India. Razak is clean bowled. Pakistan 146 for seven at the start of the 40th over. Razak is out. 
And it's going to take some innings from Wazim Akram to come in and Inzaman to turn this around for Pakistan. Well, this is the perfect length that Srinath has bowled to a batsman aiming to play a big shot. Just short of a length, not much bounce. So that ball hit the wickets. Just what they wanted. Abdul Razak would have threatened the Indians. It's gone for 11. The score now 146 for 7. So here is the captain, Wazim Akram. Kublai starts a new over to Inzamam. Now Wazim's looking for two. Safely home. 150 up. Again, this will go to the boundary. Very lucky snack by Inzamam. Almost carried to the keeper. Very fortunate to get that four runs. Almost got out there. The breakthrough India needed to seal Pakistan's fate. An outside edge almost carried here, just missing the gloves. Good luck for Pakistan and very unlucky Srinath, who's bowled magnificently today. So the Pakistan captain now on strike. Srinath going round the wicket to Wasim Akram. And that's played away on the offside. This will be another boundary. In fact, it almost went all the way for six. Zaman back on strike to Prasad. And wrapped on the pads. Up goes the finger. You could see the nod from Steve Buckner. Again, the length of Venkatesh Prasad. Spot on. And Inzamam looking to hit across the line. It's caught plumb in front of his stumps. Full marks to Azhar for persisting with or allowing, making Prasad to come back to bowl. He's done the job, he's got the breakthrough, he's got in Zamam the danger man out. It's a really poor shot. Uh, might have been a little unlucky, hit him outside the line. But that's not what the umpire thought. So Pakistan in trouble now. So Saklain Mushtaq is the new man out there for Pakistan. That's Plum, too. He's missed it all together. There was no doubt about that. Well, that's all over for Pakistan. Only one wicket to come, asking rate over eight and over. Indians ecstatic. Writings on the wall. Dejected Saklan Mushtaq, LBW2. Off a straight ball, really. Completely missed it. And Pakistan now nine down. Four runs. That I think came off the pad. Four runs to the Pakistani total, but. I'm afraid it's not going to be enough. That's up in the air. Fielder coming underneath it. Taken straight to Kumla in the deep. India have won the match by 48 runs. A great win by India. Played much more positive cricket than Pakistan. Won the toss, batted. And Pakistan, I'm afraid, seems still hung over from the loss to South Africa and have suffered a demoralizing defeat against India. It's a tremendous performance by Venkatesh Prasad in this game. Five wickets for him. India's hopes are kept alive in this World Cup. Well, the Pakistan innings never really got into its stride. Said Anwar hinted at a re return to form. Mohan Khan did his best to get things on schedule. But uh, a long but uncertain contribution from Inzaman. In the end, though, Pakistan well beaten.
Good performance all round from India's bowlers, but the match winner was Prasad, 5 for 27, his best ever figures in one day internationals, and it earned him the man of the match of the award. He'll treasure that, coming as it did against Pakistan, and India will treasure the 47 run victory. It keeps their World Cup alive. Super Six table shows the uh, India victory. They've opened their account with a couple of points, and it was a happy reaction from the Indian camp. The boys really played well today. I think it was a total team effort. Everybody stuck to their jobs, and then we were very optimistic when we went to the field. We needed a lot of uh, quick wickets early on, but uh, we still we kept getting wickets. Uh, that was, that has uh, made the victory possible, and uh, some tremendous bowling from Prasad uh, and all the bowlers, Srinath, Monty, everybody contributed to this win. Yeah, you put the pressure on your bowlers because you'd chosen to to uh, to bat first, which I thought was a brave decision, but it worked out very well for you. Yeah, I think we I definitely felt that we were about 25 runs short, but uh, anyway, I mean, I have no complaint now. We won the game, and uh, I think the boys really stuck to the pressure, and they came out, uh, I mean, on a winning note. Now, what about the atmosphere here today? It's been pretty special, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's been good, you know, it's always been good when India and Pakistan play, so I'm quite happy with that. I think uh, we make, make th things difficult for ourselves, the whole team. We have to really work hard against Zimbabwe because they are playing well and they've got one point of the day. So I think uh, we have to really work hard to qualify for the semis now and I'm very happy for Azhar and Indian team. The way they played, they showed they were better side today. Yeah, you were, you were okay, weren't you, and, and keen to bat second today. Yeah, it just didn't work for you. No, it didn't. We have to just learn to occupy the crease of 50 overs, and that's all, I think. Hopefully, we're going to make, uh, we, we learn from our mistakes in future game against Zimbabwe, and we just have to take responsibility, and I think uh, everybody's down. They, they'll come back hard now. You've been doing a lot of talking uh, to your players, haven't you, over the last uh, two or three games. You've got some more talking to do to G them up for the next game now. I think now theory should be just leave them on their own and let them think. And I think uh, they're quite capable of coming back. And uh, I, have, I have full belief in them. We had our three bad games. But now, like I said, we made ourselves uh, uh, very difficult for qualify for the semis. But now we have to work very hard to qualify. Well, Barry Richards, those were Wazin's words for public consumption when the dressing door room door <laughs> closed. Bit stronger, actually, I think. Yeah, he he must be very disappointed. They just lost all their momentum. They they've lost their momentum, and and a lot of the time when Pakistan lose their momentum, they lose their confidence. They start to bicker amongst themselves, uh, and that could be a real problem for them. So they, they've got some hard games and tough games coming up. There. It's it's going to be difficult for them. And that loss of confidence can be traced straight back to the South Africa defeat. Uh, well, I or mean, before? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think Bangladesh wasn't a great performance. I mean, not to take anything for, away from Bangladesh, they mm. played well, but I think they went into that game too complacent, and uh, from there, you know, they suddenly lost it and thought, well, you know, we, we thought we'd win this easily, and uh, their batsmen haven't got any side on. Well, really, he's a very good player, but is, is doing nothing. Ejaz has done nothing. So the top five really haven't, uh, you know, done themselves justice, and they, they've, they've lost momentum. I, I, I really think they're in trouble. And the way Wazim's talking, I mean, obviously they're going to have to g themselves up if they want to qualify. There was a lack of confidence from Pakistan in the field, and a great lack of confidence with the bat. I mean, Prasad really exposed them. The lower order certainly. He bowled well, but to a certain extent. Uh, partly with self-inflicted damage from Pakistan. Yeah, I think they're missing Johanna. I think he's a good young player, perhaps one of the best young players in the World Cup. And they've got Salim Malik who fills in every now and again. He never got away. But I mean, Prasad, he just kept, he kept hitting the seam. That was a beautiful delivery. That, to me, was the turning point of the game. As it took a very good catch, but side Anwar got to 36. And he's done this on quite a few occasions and then got out. Mohan Khan is the other trump card for Pakistan. He got himself out. It was a, a good catch from Sachin. Really didn't play a, a great shot, though. And then we had Inzi. I think he just had too much to do, as Wazim had at the end. They, they just left themselves too much to do at the end. And they had to take all the chances and paid the penalty. So uh, you know, it was just going to be always difficult. But uh, Prasad bowled well. The, the bowlers stuck to their guns. I mean, Prasad and Srinath are very, very good bowlers and ably backed up by Kumbhai. So as much as Pakistan are, are going downwards, I think India are coming up. You know, they're playing well. They've got, you know, Dravid is in, in excellent touch. So he's keeping the, the top order together. And then the bowlers are coming together. And they've got those two points. They're mm. alive in the Super 6 table. Uh, we can show you that again. Uh, and they're a side coming back to form. Tendulkar showed flashes of that. He was so frustrated at getting yes, out of uh, He's a lovely player. And I mean, he really hasn't made his mark. Mind you, not many of the top order batsmen have made. It's been a bowlers tournament, which is nice to see now and again. But uh, yeah, I'm sure if he gets to the finals, it'll be a different story. Who are your four to pick?